top of the morning friends and fellow traders this is doug campbell with right way options and this is the morning market preparation video for july 19th 2018. hey everyone i want to remind remind you all that these videos are not intended to give any kind of uh, prediction as to which way the market's going to go. Um, I use the these videos as a method of helping myself, honestly, and hopefully it helps you as well in being able to just take that objective look at the market, remove your bias for a moment, and just take a look and see what the market is showing us. So if you if you watch these videos, um, think of it in that way. I, I, I'm not intending to give you any particular direction of the market, just what the possibilities are based on price action. And with that in mind, let's take a look at what's going on here. If we look at the diamonds, you can see we are kind of stuck between a couple levels. We have a support level that we broke out here to the, um, just this week and held on to that. And we have a resistance level right up here that we still have yet to challenge. And yesterday we saw those uh, the diamonds and the spiders move up. But the majority of the move was contained in a single sector. And that was um, the financial sector. Taking a look here at XLF, you can see we had a really nice break of the downtrend in XLF as the that financial sector starts to recover. Um, I would kind of keep an eye uh, maybe on XLF on a little pullback, a little rest, maybe a consolidation, something like that. There may be some opportunities here in XLF having broken back through that downtrend. Um, so that moved the Dow up. It also helped out the SPY considerably moving up and holding above this new support level yesterday just getting a little bit of follow through now one of the things i never consider a support level actually support until i see um, that level be tested in price and so far we haven't had the price we've had the breakout the breakthrough but you always want to wait for the proof that we're going to hold that as support and this morning we're getting that pullback at least at the moment uh, futures are pointing to a slightly lower open nothing major but just a little bit of a lower open as we pull uh, back we want to see um, those bulls kind of step in and, and defend um, these levels here in the spy and the diamonds we don't want those levels given up we want to see them push back on that and as you can see this morning the Dow is looking looking to gap down below yesterday and um, a push lower would not be all that big of a surprise considering you know two weeks of rally now I know no one wants to see um, the market pull back we always want to see the market moving higher but please keep in mind that a pullback is healthy and it's in those pullbacks that we have an opportunity for support to be tested see proof that the bulls are going to defend those areas and it actually sets up new trades so never fear a pullback they're actually healthy as long as they don't get a little bit carried away and uh, the bears taking over breaking down support levels let's take a look at the cues real quick cues holding up pretty well uh, didn't really move much at all yesterday just kind of chopped sideways and in, in really light volume it was really everything yesterday really seemed to be pretty focused into that financial sector and the techs obviously were not involved in that now today you can see we're gapping down this morning um, on those techs what's going to be really important is that we hold on to um, support levels obviously we want to hold this one if that one doesn't hold we'll look to this one to hold as support so we have to kind of keep an eye on that but we're pulling back this morning um, and, and it may be a little bit uh, you know shake people up just a little bit um, initially but remember we have a lot of earnings coming out and um, that could certainly um, provide some inspiration remember Microsoft reports after the bell today and Microsoft you know is one of those big bellwethers that could be a bit of an inspiration for the market so we'll see if they report good it could be a good thing for Friday 
Um, obviously, if they uh, miss on earnings after such a nice rally toward earnings, um, it could be a little bit uh, rough for the market tomorrow in the tech sector. We'll have to wait and see. But um, uh, certainly keep your eyes on what Microsoft does after the bell today. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX um, just kind of resting right down here. A little bit of price support right in this area. Just kind of resting. Not really showing any fear. Not really um, giving us any clues that the market is ready to, to slide off a cliff or anything. So that's a good sign. We want to see that uh, VIX continue to stay low. Even drift a little bit lower. But I suspect this morning we'll see it pick up this morning. Pick up and move a little bit higher just based on... Um, uh, current futures price action. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, keep in mind, T2122 is not for, and it never has been, a buy sell indicator. Okay, what it does is it gives us a little bit of a clue when um, the markets have kind of reached an overbought or oversold area we just kind of extended too far but what we show right now in the market is actually a, a good thing for us we have certainly the ability for the market to move higher or the market to move lower as you can see here we're kind of we're pretty close to the middle of this range here so we have plenty of upside room we have plenty of downside room so there's no indication here of which way the market should go just that we have room on both sides and that's kind of what we've been seeing too is just a little bit of choppiness this week around all the earnings and and things going on out there in the world so um watch that closely just no real good clues as to which way the market will go here on t2122 um let's take a quick look at what's going on in the economic calendar today we have uh, two items on the calendar first thing this morning that can move the market we have jobless claims now those are expected to stay really strong um, high light labor demand right now um, even though I think they're expected to tick up just a little bit this morning but uh, labor demand remains extremely strong the Philly Fed survey comes in after that Philly Fed is looking for a little bit of an increase uh, kind of popping up after a disappointing uh, report last month but bouncing back pretty strongly uh, this month so that could help us out as well we have a Fed speaker today at nine o'clock and then after that we we don't have a whole lot that uh, we could expect to move the market much a bunch of bond um, announcements and auctions today, but other than that, uh, pretty pretty casual uh, morning after we get past uh, these first two reports at 8:30 Eastern time. Um, on the earnings front, however, we have a lot of earnings coming out. We have um, over a hundred companies reporting earnings today, and they're going to be coming out pretty fast and furious here this morning. And then, as I mentioned, we have uh, Microsoft this afternoon um, coming out and um, E-Trade and those kind of companies reporting this afternoon. So watch those earnings. Make sure you're checking earnings reports. Um, one of the things that's really nice, I don't know uh, what platform you use, but if you happen to use TC2000, um, you have the ability to place the next earnings date right here on your chart very handy i know a lot of uh, charting software has that ability nowadays make sure you're checking that you want to you want to know what's going on with those earnings reports um because oftentimes you can get a good buy signal um, in a chart right before an earnings report and the last thing you want to do is is be leaping in and not knowing what's happening next um on those reports uh, so many of these uh, 
things get punished if they report poorly. So for example, let's take a look at um, Alcoa. Alcoa yesterday uh, was looking, uh, not uh, you know, it broke in the downtrend, was looking a little bit better, and Alcoa this morning is gapping lower. Even though they reported good strong earnings and even beat um, on revenue projections, um, but they guided lower for the next quarter based on um, input costs of, of energy rising and uh, tariff pressures. So um, you never know what's going to happen there. We have um, like Philip Morris reporting this morning. It looks like it has moved lower as well. So you can see we have a base starting to be built here, here and gapping substantially lower. So that's what happens um, around earnings and they're really unpredictable. So you wanna make sure and know when that company is gonna report and make sure you have a plan if you own that company to protect yourself and certainly you don't want to be buying just right ahead of those earnings reports. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and please, please, please always feel free to drop a comment and... Um, share this video with any friends and family. You guys have been awesome. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all of your kind words and great support. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.